and I'm about to fire up Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote on Audible. So, ready to go. I'll check in with you guys later. Well, hey guys, it's the noon hour, and I've got my lunch here. Um, I'm having one of my uh, Runa teas, the guava ones that I got at Costco that one day. I'm still loving these. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let me show you what's on the uh, lunch lineup today. We've got, uh, I'm sitting here in the parking lot. We've got actually kind of a cloudy day today, so... Uh, UV index is actually a little lower than usual. Okay, so I've got tofu, and this time I just sliced it up into like, I don't know, this, these kinds of slices, and I um, decorated it, if you will, with uh, the onion, the garlic herb, Mrs. Dash, my favorite, and then I've just got some uh, roasted asparagus, because tis the season for that jazz, um, some roasted red bell pepper, spinach, um, and then yam, and of course a dusting of hemp seed, and oh dear, I, it looks like I forgot to put my yeast, nutritional yeast on here, oh well, um, and then, um, Good ol' Ibotta's got 25 cents back on any purchase here at HEB, so I swung in and got my uh, apple here, so this was, I don't know, a dime, basically. <laughs> I love it. Um, and, uh, let's see. Oh, so this morning I was talking about uh, scars. Um, you know, retinoids can, topical retinoids like tretinoin, namely tretinoin, and to a certain extent to xeratine. We don't know so much about adapalene, and probably not, but those can strengthen the deeper layer of the skin where the, where the scars lie and kind of improve the look of them. But as far as like a cream or an oil or anything else, really not much. Some protection is key though if you've got acne or any kind of inflammatory skin disease. Um, honestly guys like just ignore whatever the beauty industry tells you. It's really all about sun protection honestly. I mean the sun just is what drives every kind of skin concern you guys seem to ever have or you should ever have. So, so some of you guys have told me that the power dust is a little bit like uh, cocaine only without the with only not only without the uh, cardiovascular risk and habit forming uh, potential. So, I may have to try that one although I have got high energy to begin with. I also want to try brain dust. Um, see if it doesn't uh, make me, I don't know, brainier. <laughs> and male listeners a protective feeling. As she said, who can tell me where is the John? Then completing the cycle, he offered an arm to from the Arkansas hills, Miss Margaret Thatcher, Fitzhugh Wildwood. Things and flames and raw eggs were sliding down the walls and in the midst of the debris, stared at Jose so blindly, seemed not to see the doctor, who, testing her pulse, crooned, you're a tired young lady, very tired. You want to go to sleep? Instead, he invited me to have a drink. Jose moved into the apartment, his name replacing Mag Wadip to Asana. Which is not to imply that she had lost it. And he makes too much noise when he eats, and I don't like from everybody alive. Just snap my fingers and say, come here, you. I wouldn't... It happened to fall on the 30th of September, my birthday. Well, hey guys, I just got uh, home from work and uh, enjoying the uh, Holly Go Lightly on the uh, way home with Audible. Um, I've got my uh, Makers of Wax Goods candle here. I don't want him to end. Um, I gotta say the shelf life on, I've gotta say the burn time on this is quite desirable. Um, but yeah, oh, I don't think I showed you guys. So I don't think I showed you guys, but yesterday when I buzzed into Bath and Body Works because I, I gave my mom the candle that I got there and um, knowing that Makers of Wax Good was going to be donezo soon, I got a little apprehensive. And here, I'll just come sit over here, buddy. I never sit in this chair. See, you guys are making me use my furniture. Um, but anyways, so you know how I gave my mom, uh, that candle that I got to cheer her up? I, I think it went over well. Um, but I had a, yes, today I believe is the last day of the, of the, uh, 1250 for the three wick candles. But, uh, yesterday I got a, 20% uh, off coupon, so I was able to pick up this, uh, fragrance. I got Sunlit Garden. They didn't have this the other day when I went in there, but I really like it. Um, 
It's got a picture of a tomato on the front, but it doesn't smell like tomato. They do have a tomato scented one in there, which I guess is different. But this one's really nice. It's like a subtle, almost kind of floral smell. Lush green leaves. Yep, I agree with that. Bright marigold. Marigold, guys, um, is uh, what's in your calendula um, that you guys are always asking me about. Calendula... Um, is in the uh, family of uh, flowers that has a common allergen called cisquiterpene lactones. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, which can uh, can become allergenic. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked for this transition transition candle away from Makers of Wax Good. I don't want him to end though. But yeah, oh, you guys saw on my way back from work, I reapplied that L to MD UV Sport. Uh, I swear. As far as the Elta stuff, I am really loving that, um, but uh, did not love the, but did not love the lip balm. I still need a good UV protective lip lip balm. But anyways, yeah, I just got home. Oh, update. So I know update, update, update. You guys know how I um, uh, ran out. I had an emergency contact lens outage the other day, um, and fortunately. <laughs> I got an Ebates rebates by reordering my contacts here. I'm suddenly going to get prettier. <laughs> um, I got an Ebates rebates, you know, from Walgreens. Here, I'll just put you there on this cup. I got an Ebates rebates on Walgreens. Um, it was like, I don't know, something quite quite a good cash back. I got it during one of those Duba, I call it the du the Duba window. It'll be a day where a certain, um, a certain company will be, um, uh, a certain brand will give you double the normal cash back and Walgreens happened to have it that day so I mean I got quite a bit back you can imagine a year's worth of contact lenses plus I picked up um, you guys know I love uh, this Maybelline Colossal this is a mascara that I wear every day um, and I am due for a new um, but the thing that I am annoyed about, so when I got the contact lenses, I was like, wait, didn't I order mascara too? Um, well, it came today um, in a separate box, which seems unnecessary, and in a massive box. Oh, and they sent me the waterproof. No. I don't like waterproof. Ugh. Maybe I should try this out, though. I've never used the waterproof one. Yeah, so anyways, I'm, I'm going to head to the gym in a second, but um, you saw me chippity chopping up some veg, um, so let me just show you what I got going to cook up for, to have with dinner tonight. Um, I've really been, I really enjoy, I really enjoy like just uh, oven roasting vegetables and stuff, and I've still got some tofu that um, I cooked yesterday, so I'll have that, but um, I basically just took some of the uh, riced cauliflower, um, some of the, it's asparagus season, so I got some fresh asparagus on there, some of the red bell pepper that I chopped up earlier, uh, some garlic, and uh, yeah, my onion and herb, Mrs. Dash, this is one of my favorites here, just sprinkled on there with a little bit of a non-stick, um, de Costco um, and so the way I will do that is I will probably um, when I get back from the gym I'll flip on the oven to 350 and pop them in and by the time I get out and get done talking with you guys that'll be ready to go and I can uh, put some tofu over it and, um, and a little uh, nutritional yeast and yeah, have a spinach salad on the side with oh, with some of this uh, dressing that I love so much. I'm gonna fire into that. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Let me show you. I got this at Vitacost, guys, from my Vitacost haul. This Hillary's tomato calamata. I am such a fan of this. So that is what is on the menu. Oh, update, guys. As far as the uh, vegan proteins go, um, I've been really into, um, like, so you guys know that I love the VC for uh, this vanilla pea protein, so I, I haven't cracked into my second tub of it, but um, I did try this rice protein um, that I picked up at the vitamin shop. It was like on clearance. I was like, oh, I kind of want to try that, and I sort of like it, but you know how I've been doing it um, now is when I, when I make like a shake, um, I do one, once it says one serving of this is like 12 grams of protein, but I guess technically rice 
um, protein is not like a complete protein. So I do a little bit of supplementing. I also do the pea protein concentrate that I've been getting from uh, Vitacost, that I got from Vitacost. And I think that Mambo combo together, um, I do one tablespoon of this, which gives you seven grams of protein. And then I do a tablespoon of this, which gives you 12. Um, that's quite a bit actually. Um, so yeah, I think that kind of makes it complete. That's what I put in my oatmeal this morning um, and what I would do for a shake. Or maybe for a shake I would do this, but I haven't cracked into him yet. So I've really been loving uh, the thing that I like. I like the, the rice protein because it's a little more subtle flavor. The pea protein has a distinct there's, there's a distinct pea protein taste to pea protein I'm finding, and the Vitacost one so far is the mildest one and, and the least offensive as far as the vanilla flavor. And um, the pea protein concentrate that I got, the uh, pea protein concentrate that I got is also um, pretty tolerable. So yeah, that's just a little rundown on my uh, vegan um, protein powders, but yeah, I'm gonna, um, anyways, I'm gonna buzz over to the gym, so I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Oh yeah, one of my favorites here. Monday night's call for lavender spray and carol. <laughs> um, speaking of spray, guys, uh, skincare update-wise, um, I've been using this just because I got it. This is the, um, Avene, I don't know I'm saying that wrong. The um, thermal spring water spray, it came, you know, um, along with uh, um, the Retrin AL um, hyaluronic acid cream that I've been using. And I don't know, do any of you guys use this? It's What it is, is it's um, supposedly, um, you're supposed to spray this fine mist on your skin, wait a few minutes, and then pat dry. <clears throat> What this is kind of trying to sell you on is the uh, fact that this this area of France um, has a ton of these like natural springs, natural spring water, and they actually have this this company um, is actually part you know part of a um, skin treatment center um, where children and and people with inflammatory skin diseases can go as patients and receive. Um, medical care for their skin disease. It's really fantastic. And in Europe, it's, it's covered as part of the, um, the healthcare um, package dealio. Um, you know, you can get it covered, um, I believe, um, it, with a referral. Um, and actually, um, it's pretty affordable. Um, so it's, it's interesting. And the whole premise behind it is hydro, hydrotherapy. Um, which is important when the skin barrier is inflamed. It's basically very intense uh, moisturizing and and then a premise of it is that they use the spring water which is um, supposedly very soothing. But then you know the the cosmeceutical part of, of the company, the cosmetic part of the company is you know trying to to package it up and sell it to you in this can and I don't know it seems kind of gimmicky to me because it's telling you to spray it on your face and then um, pat it dry like you know, if there is any anti-inflammatory benefit or mineral component, like, that doesn't make sense to me. So I've just been spritzing it on my face and then putting my hyaluronic acid gel cream on top of it and then, um, and then moisturizing with my oil-free moisturizer. But yeah, this one seems, this seems a little gimmicky to me, so I don't know. Do you guys use this? Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's just kind of a little rundown of how the skincare went tonight. I think tomorrow I will do, uh, I will start using the Neutrogena one for a few nights since I didn't really give that an honest, uh, honest whirl. Um, but I'll give it a, a, a real college try the next few days while I wait for my, my different. I, I said I was going to order it last night and then I forgot, so I need to go, go online and get me some more diff, some more diff. Um, anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you guys had a great day. Um, thank you so much for all of your support in the comments. And, um, it, you know, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you're enjoying the vlogs and the content. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.